I will tell you something for free. Slice my finger open, slice my leg open, and I'll do it all again a hundred times over. This is a hell of a view to wake up to, man. Look at this. That is smashed, destroyed bone. I am starving. Oh, that's a fish. Here we go. <laughs> this will feed a family of 300. What is going on, my doggies? Welcome back to another one. The time has finally come. I'm going to get this broken trotter fixed. As a lot of you guys may know, I've been dealing with a broken ankle for a bloody long time and it has given me grief. Oh, so what I'm doing, I'm flying halfway over the other side of the world to go get stem cells injected into my foot. If that doesn't work, I'm gonna get a 90 mil stainless steel bolt put through the back of my foot. But right now, I'm gonna run with the stem cells. All right, now this here is an X-ray. This is my left foot, and you'll notice there's a beautiful little gap there. This bottom photo is my right foot, and that is smashed, destroyed bone. For the last couple of years, I've been walking around, that bone on bone is just rubbing. Chronic arthritis, it is not fun. So that's what I'm gonna go get fixed up. Now in the meantime, I'm gonna go through all of my old Indonesia footage. There is some exclusive footage that you guys have never seen before. So I'm gonna re-edit some of my favorite adventures I did in Indonesia. There's bloopers, there's some funny stuff in there. I literally look like a 16 year old kid. I hope you guys enjoy this. I gotta get on a plane, go to the other side of the world, get this ankle looked at. While I do that, you guys are going to watch the next couple of weeks on these Indo videos. Much love. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you back in Indo. Mwah. Love you, doggies. Ah. All right. How the hell am I going to get up here? All right, so this scooter, definitely not made for this terrain. Just bottoms out every single time we go up a rock hill. And I have so much further to go, all the way to those palm trees. Woo! This isn't easy. Oh, that was a mission. Oh my God. I can't believe we actually made it. It has been an extremely frustrating day. I started at four o'clock this morning from Bali, tried to find a boat, couldn't find a boat to drop me off on this island. Finally, after hours and hours of searching, found a boat driver who could drop me off. He dropped me off on the other side of the island. So then I had to rent a bike. I got this busted ass old bike. It's taken me an entire day to get here. Um, Sun's gone, sun's completely gone down. So I'm gonna set up a tent here somewhere. And then in the morning, we'll really start fishing. I've eaten nothing today. Check this out. We are stepping it up in the world. Little tent. Yes. Oh, I need this right now. Oh, this coffee is so good, man. And this morning, the goal is, I think, we're gonna try, try our hardest to fish. Like, this ledge looks psycho. I haven't really been down there properly, but it looks really good. This is a hell of a view to wake up to, man. Look at this. All right, let's get down there somewhere. See if we can get some breakfast. I am so hungry right now. All right, this is the first time we've actually seen the cliff and um, it looks gnarly. It looks really fishy. The water's super clear, but um, that current is absolutely pushing through here, which is exactly why I chose this spot. Kind of like um, between that island and this island, it's like a big alleyway there. So the fish have to sort of swim between there to get back out to the open ocean on each side. Look at it. This looks epic, man. It's actually going to be really hard to fish here. And these rocks are super sharp. Like if you fell on this, 
any of these rocks, good luck, mate. That's, that's psycho. That's really sharp. So the problem that I can see straight away, obviously I've never been here before. I just found this spot on Google Maps. And the problem that we're going to have straight away is if we hook up to a big fish, I don't think I'm going to be able to land anything decent off this cliff. Like, if we get a 20 kilo GT, even a 10 kilo GT, I don't even think I'm going to be able to lift it up this, this ledge by myself. So um, let's get a rod out there, see what's around. Look at the water! Oh man, I'm so froth right now. So just down here, there was some big long tom. It's taken me a little while to unpack all my stuff, but they were big. Oh, there's one there. Look at the size of that thing, dude. Oh, that's a fish. Here we go. That's a fish on. Oh. Oh yeah! <laughs> wow! I hope it's not too big. I'm on a big. I'm on the big edge of the cliff now. Good fish! Oh come on! This is breakfast. I need this fish. Oh no! There's a shark behind it. No no no! No! What is that? Oh my god! This is the mother of all barracuda. I can't get this in, man. Look at the GT behind it. Oh my god, dude, I need help, man. <laughs> this is psycho. I can't get this fish in. I've got 20 pound leader. Oh no, I've got to make a decision here. Dude, there's easy 25 kilo plus GT behind it. Look, I don't know what I'm going to do with this fish. Look at that GT, man. Are you joking? Oh, this is mayhem, dude. This is the best day ever. Oh, let's see if we can get him up here. Oh, this is deadly. If my line touches that rock, we're done. <sighs> no, 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 no. All right, that's not gonna work. I'm gonna have to walk him all the way around. Come on, big dog. <sighs> Look at the size of that GT with him. Oh my goodness. <sighs> I think around the corner here, there's a bit of a low ledge. If we can get him there. We might be able to get him up here. That's it, that's it, that's it. Come around. Oi, 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 oi. Okay, now I need a wave. Just gotta stay there, stay there. Stay, stay, stay. Go, run. Go, 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 go. Alright, I'm going in. We're gonna go. Now, Ooh. oh my god, look at this slob of a fish! Woo! Oh my god, big dogs gotta eat. I am so pumped right now, man. Look at this thing. I'm actually gonna get him back, he's still got a lot of life in him. I'm going to climb back down that cliff and chuck him in the water, but I just wanted to get a good photo with him. Look at that, mate. This thing's way too big to keep for breakfast. This will feed a family of 300. All right, I'm going to put him back. Love you, thank you. That was an epic fight on PE2 gear. Look at that, doggies. We've done it. All right, let's get this big dog back. Man, that was so sick. <laughs> Ah, look at that from climbing up that cliff. Boost my finger. Really sharp rocks here, right? Look at this. Everywhere's bleeding. Ah. All right, let's get this big boy back. He deserves to fight another day. Whoosh. 
See you later, buddy. Come on, kick, kick, kick. Oh, there he goes. That was insane, dude. So we still don't have any breakfast. And right now, I don't even care. That was insane, dude. Oh, sliced my finger open, sliced my leg open, and I'll do it all again a hundred times over. Look at that lure, it is destroyed, man. Big teeth marks. I'm gonna get back out there, see if we can get another fish. That was sick, bro. Come on, big mahi mahi just here. That was a big, big dog. That's a big fish, man. There's probably, I don't know, 12 kilo, 10 kilo mahi mahi. Two of them swimming just here. Let's go, big boy. Everything that's swimming by, two big mahi mahi came past. They weren't interested, they just kept swimming around the point. They were really, really big fish. We got that barracuda, that big GT was with that barracuda, so there's just, Obviously the fish here, they're big, big fish, and I need something to eat. Like, I'm not, I don't want to kill a fish that big just to feed me once. I've got nowhere to put the fillets or anything. So I reckon we'll go up there, we'll make another coffee, we'll pack up, pack up the tent, and we'll go shoot to another spot on this island, and we'll just start fully exploring. Like, there's so many places on this island to explore, it's insane. So pack up the tent, pack everything away, and we'll, um, we'll start exploring. All right, we're all packed up, we're ready to go. So this is our trusty steed. This is the bike that I rented when I got to this island. The only problem that is this bike, we're running like full on slicks, man. Like there is no traction. So these tracks that we're about to go down today, it's gonna be gnarly. There is a lot of places to explore and not too much time. So let's go. Let's go and get ourselves a bit of breakfast. Doggies. Oh, oh, Jesus. It's happening again. I'm taking these tracks, trying to get down to the water, but um, I'm probably right now I'm on a 150 metre cliff, 200 metre cliff, and I just can't get down to the bottom of them. But look at the water, man. I need to get down here. I don't know if you guys can see the colour, but that is like the most amazing turquoise blue water I've ever seen, especially like this area here. That is off its head, man. It's beautiful. Look at it. We have certainly clocked up the Ks now. It's about two hours, two hours since I checked in with you guys last. I've just been going up and down tracks, trying to find places to fish. This is probably one of the most beautiful beaches you will ever see. Look at this, man. This is called Diamond Beach. So this is probably a dead giveaway to where I am if you guys know this place. It's like Instagram famous spot. It's such a beautiful beach, but look at this, man. I was actually gonna go down and fish there, but if you can see, it's like super low tide and it's just shallow reef. It's not really deep water, so I might, I might go somewhere else. Dude, check it out. It is the... This is by far the most beautiful beach I've ever seen. This is, this is usually flooded with tourists. But now, I've got it to myself. Look at the water, man. But we're not here to find beautiful places, we're here to find beautiful fish, so... We'll keep this journey going. I have no idea where I'm gonna go now. This has turned into like yesterday. It's just a day of driving, but... um, So nice, man. All right, decisions, decisions, decisions. So we caught that big fish where that blue dot is. And I'm all the way over here. And this side of the island is just like, it's just hectic. It's just massive cliffs. People are saying you can fish there, but I don't think you can unless you want to keep everything. So I'm going to start driving all the way back, take this inland track. We'll take this all the way back down there. Then I'm going to go across the bumpy tracks all the way back to where we were this morning. So um, that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to head back there. I know it's good. We know there's fish there. And maybe I'll go get myself some cheeky packets of noodles for dinner because 
I am absolutely starving. I ate nothing yesterday and I've eaten nothing today. So, um, yeah, brother. So, um, yeah, I'm, I might go get a couple of cheeky noodles, but I won't crack into them unless we don't catch a fish. Welcome back to the motherland. This is where the big dogs live. And that was an extremely wasted couple of hours driving around again. So let that be a lesson to myself. Find where the fish are and just stay here. Nah, but I really want to explore this island and oh, I just don't have enough time. There's so many amazing places that look sick on the map. And then when you actually get there, it's like, um, I don't know, a 50 foot cliff or it's like a nice beach, but with like a hundred meters of shallow reef, like unfishable places when you're solo. So. We're back in the motherland. Let's set up the tent again, set the tent up again, and we're gonna go fishing. Hopefully we can get something a little bit smaller so we can cook it up because I am starving. All right, the tent is set up. We're ready to rock and roll. All I wanna do is cook a fish on the fire tonight, but if we don't get a fish, I'll be resorting to me green. All right, let's start fishing because I am absolutely frothing for it. Yeah, I wonder what we're gonna get this time. Oh, it's windy. And the fish are quiet. Where are you, big dog? It's a really different current right now, though. All right, if I could pick one fish to catch right now, it would be like a little bluefin trevally about this big. That would be the perfect size eating fish, and I love eating little bluefin trevally, and they look beautiful as well. So that's the targeted species right now. <laughs> the way that we're going. It's uh, not looking like we're gonna get one, but hey, we're just gonna try. I will tell you something for free. There is no oysters, there's no snails. There is nothing to eat on these rocks. This is like full on, just barren, barren land. So I've been fishing for about two and a half hours, two and a little bit hours. Nothing, one big long time had a sniff, but um, that's it. It's time to bloody put some noodles on the hot water. Oh, I'm so excited. I only bought two packets. What an idiot. I should have bought 50 of them. I'm going to smash those two packets. All right, uh, so we fished the whole larvae like it's going to be dark in 15 minutes. So I'm going to quickly get back up there, get a little fire going or get the little um, gas cooker burning. Um, yeah, no luck. One long tom hit and that's it. So don't know what's happened this arvo, but this morning, man, pff, nothing can top this morning. Even if I don't get a fish, I don't really care anymore because this morning was dope, man. Have a go at it. This is so sick. My water's nearly boiling. It's actually really windy out here, right? Like up the top, on the top of this hill, it's super windy. And this thing, these little like shields around here are so good, man. It just, you can just boil water, cook anything in the wind. That thing's a little beast. But yeah, this is sick. I'm just gonna sit here, smash those noodles and enjoy. How bloody good does this look? Look at this. I am, this is the first thing I've eaten in two days. Seriously. Mm. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, it's so good. We could have been eating fillets and fillets and fillets and fillets of barracuda, but Nah, that fish is way too big to kill. We let him go. Now, a lot of you guys are probably wondering, like, why don't I use bait when I go fishing? I hate bait fishing. Like, it's boring. I just like lure fishing. Man, if you don't eat for a day or two, like, it's not the end of the world, but I was bloody hungry today. So we've got ourselves a, two packets of megarine. I should have got five. But um, I'm literally, I'm just going to sit here now, watch the sunset, smash these delicious noodles, and we'll... um. Suppose we we'll wake up in the morning and fish here again. Imagine if we hook up to that big GT tomorrow. Ha! That's gonna make the little rod bend. Ugh. 
Ah, good morning. That was a really bad sleep. Look at my eye. It's like, <laughs> it feels like it's super swollen. I haven't looked in the mirror yet, but I'll go over to the bike and look in the mirror. It feels really swollen. I don't know what's going on with my eye, but we've got coffee. That water's nearly boiled. It looks like an absolute beautiful day. And last night's sleep was extremely haggard, man. So I'm just sleeping literally on the ground. This towel was inside the bike when I rented it. It was just inside the seat. So it's probably some rank mank towel, but um, I'm just sleeping on this. And this is like not hard. This kind of ground's like rocky sticks. Just, I don't know. I didn't have a good sleep. That is not going to stop us from hooking up to a big dog. I'm going to... uh smash a coffee maybe two and then we'll start fishing again <laughs> oh, this is so sick man it started pissing down with rain i've got my coffee this is so good dude look at this man it is literally bucketing down outside right now <laughs> yes this is what i man this is what i froth this right now this feeling it's so good dude look at this this tent isn't even waterproof. Yeah, doggies. You're gonna get soaked. <laughs> All right, so the fishing is slow and I'm now fishing with one eye. So um, I don't know what happened to me last night, but something's bitten my eye. And I, um, look at this man. It's like, I can barely see out of this eye right now. I don't know if it's been like bitten or, oh, I don't know what it is, but it's like blurry, I can barely see. So it's really hard to walk on these rocks right now with this eye, man. What is going on? Look how fat it is. But I've seen one school of little tuna swim through. They were really small tuna, but it was pretty sick to see. And, he, and dolphins keep punching up and down this rock. So we'll just keep fishing and uh, hopefully this eye gets better, man. It's actually getting worse. Let's go. Couple of dolphins busting up here. Look at them. Man, they're flying. That's sick. You're joking. Big manta ray splashing its way to the bloody moon and back. Dude, I have a body. Look at these goosebumps, man. With my one working eye, I just saw that splash before. It's not a manta ray, it's a sunfish, dude. It's a massive, like, massive, big albino white sunfish. That is so dope, man. It's jumping out of the water. I thought it was a manta ray, but it's a, it's a sunfish. That is awesome. <laughs> you have got to be kidding me. It's funny how things work. So I've been casting this lure all morning. No hits, nothing. There's been two local fishermen come down, they went home, they got nothing. I've seen heaps of long tom swimming around and I found a pair of long tom jaws. So that's what a long tom's jaw looks like. So there's no way to actually set a hook. So I've been scavenging around on these rocks and I made myself a skirt with all these different bits of cotton material. So when the long tom comes and bites it, they get tangled up and that's how the people are catching these long tom. Soon as I cast this out, third cast, two tuna about this big, they weren't big but perfect eating size tuna. Flying in, bang, bang, buffing it, but there's no hook in there. So <laughs> I couldn't catch the tuna. That is always the way. And now it's, um, it's quarter to 11. I've got to be on a boat at 11.30 going back to the island I come from. So. I am going to love yous and leave yous. Thank you for watching. Thank you for joining my adventure. Unfortunately, we didn't get an edible sized fish, but we got a big fish and I'm super pumped with that. So I'll see you in the next one, doggies. Much love. Yow! Oh, 
here we go. Oh sh**. This is really bad. Yes! No! Who the hell ever said setting up a tent at night was fun? Not me. Oh my God, I hate tents. Look at her. There's a lot of places to go and explore and not a lot of time. So let's get out of here and we keep jumping onto these Nick next. Uh. But it'd be nice to get another fish. Oh, sh that's <laughs> Hello, wobbly rock boy. Boy. I'm already gonna put a hole in my tent. Look at my eye, man. Oh.